So the Parallax Propeller is kind of a cute little microcontroller. Um, it's very hobbyist friendly, it's inexpensive. Um, it doesn't have any built-in peripherals really, other than some simple um, counters and shift registers and things. Um, but its real strength is that it actually has eight um, processing cores on it. And it's really good at doing peripherals and software. So this is a project to come up with a simple way of doing kind of wireless interfacing with the propeller using just an off-the-shelf um, USB Bluetooth dongle. So there it is up there, the little board. Um, that's just a standard consumer Bluetooth dongle, um, $2 from Deal Extreme. Um, when it's a USB device, it's one of those little ones that goes inside your USB port, so it doesn't even have a separate connector. Those um, pads on the PC board actually form part of a uh, USB Type-A plug. And it's just soldered um, for convenience there to a little 4-pin header. And now, the propeller doesn't have a built-in USB host controller, um, but with some clever software and a little bit of overclocking, you can do um, uh, a bit-banged USB host um, in software. So that's what I've done. I have a USB host controller in software, um, and I've also implemented a really simple um, USB host stack, uh, host controller driver behind that, and a Bluetooth stack. So this actually implements um, just a really simple Bluetooth stack with the serial port profile, um, and as you can see here on the television monitor it's connected to, it's running a little demo. So as it says, um, this is using four of the eight um, processors, which are called COGS, and it's using about 10 of the 32 kilobytes of RAM. And as you can see, the only um, connections here are power on the right and the video on the left. And the only external component here is the Bluetooth dongle. Um, you don't even need any resistors or anything, just the dongle and some wires. So over here I have my laptop, and this is the program that the propeller is running. So it's just a little tiny demo for this um, Bluetooth serial port module I've written. Uh, just displays the message you just saw, and down here it goes into a loop just receiving characters over the Bluetooth serial port and outputting them both to the television and um, sort of verbosely printing them back to the serial port. And as you can see, there are a whole lot of modules inside of this. Um, it has um, the Bluetooth host controller, a interface for the um, USB host controller protocol that these Bluetooth dongles use, um, the USB host controller itself, um, and then some utility modules for buffering and key storage. Um, so let's give this a try. So this is the the Windows um, Bluetooth devices control panel. So I'll just look for nearby devices, and there we see it's already found the propeller. Um, and I've just named this um, the propeller in the Bluetooth serial module over here. And I've also said that it's a computer because why not? So if I connect that, um, it'll ask me for a pin number. And right now this is hard coded at um, 0000. zero, zero, zero. Um, so Windows will connect the device, and you can see it's um, installing a driver for the serial port. So Windows says it's connected. And there's my propeller. If I right click on this, see the services that it offers. Um, and so there are some lower level modules in this um, distribution here for creating your own Bluetooth protocols and you know using the lower level L2 cap and RFCOM protocols. Um, but here all we've done is export a serial port and you can see Windows bound that to COM21. So if I just run the serial terminal over here and connect it to COM21. You can see um, Windows will take a couple of seconds to actually make the connection 
but if I just type um, foo over here, um, as soon as it actually makes the connection, you'll see that the device received it, and then it echoed back foo, um, and this is exactly what we told it to do here in this loop. And you can also see that over here on the television, foo came out, and if I keep typing on the laptop, say foo bar, it just sort of comes out immediately. So there it is. It's a um, serial port, uh, and, well, an emulated Bluetooth serial port between the propeller and my computer over here for just the cost of the propeller itself and a $2 Bluetooth dongle. And so right now this is just kind of a rough demo. I just got this working this afternoon. Um, but this is kind of a cool little stack that should be useful for all sorts of things. Uh, the USB stack um, should be powerful enough to use it for all sorts of different devices. I've tried input devices, um, hard disks, um, uh, Bluetooth or USB serial devices, um, and it should be useful for talking to all sorts of Bluetooth devices too. Um, I already tried talking to the Wiimote, um, I've tried communicating with my Android phone, so, um, you know, right now the software is pretty rough, but um, this could have a lot of potential. You know, right now the main limitations are really that it is a little bit slow because, you know, it's kind of CPU intensive doing all of these sort of protocol work, and even though the line rate is 12 megabits per second, there's a lot of pre-processing and post-processing that it has to do before and after every packet um, in order to um, make it to that line rate. So the throughput isn't actually that great, but, you know, for $2 it's not too bad, and for a lot of simple applications this might be enough. So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching.